grab the scribble pad and we're gonna see where we go. Have like a whole menagerie of different things. Oh, sorry. What in the world? Dad, okay. Ah, ah come on now, my oh, man. Dad, 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 dad. Okay. Whoa, I have this very sweet man, and he's coming across very timid, is the way that I would describe this. But um, give me one sec. I, I feel he keeps having me highlight October as being significant, but from a like birthday and a death date way. So if somebody has a dad here who October was like significant in two ways, awesome. Um, I'm gonna keep kind of describing what's coming in and then we're gonna kind of try to see if we can get to the bottom of this guy because he wouldn't be the type to bust through and I, but I'm like, I wanna connect with you, my guy. So we're gonna check and see what we can do here. I think I'm gonna go over here. So if you don't mind over there, you and anyone you came with is more than welcome to come up to the microphone yeah, and we'll have a way chat. Over here. And you guys also, we find that sometimes situations will be very similar. And if you hear a message and you're like, that's for me, take it as if you're standing at that mic because there's a reason we get put where we're at, at this time and at this place. And I think messages sometimes can have a multifaceted effect. It can apply to multiple people at once. I've had crazy examples of that happen before it shows. We'll have people with the same name, same cause of passing and died on the same day. And then, yeah, and then you'll have Two people be like, that's me. And I'm like, well, there you go. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. I got to bring up this guy. He's coming across very cute. And he keeps coming in over and over and over again and acknowledging first and foremostly, I feel like he's not suffering. He brings up this feeling of the last two years of his life. And he acknowledges this kind of feeling of like, I'm going, 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 and then I kind of just decline. And those last 24 months had to be kind of rough because in the way this comes across, he was um, strong-willed, but there's this feeling of, I know I can't beat this in the way this comes through. No. If I highlighted three sisters and I were to say like, where's the other one? She yes. couldn't make it. Okay. She's, a, She's gonna wish she had. Um, I have to highlight an appreciation for one of the sisters stepping up to the plate or kind of stepping up and being there for dad in a way that perhaps other people weren't able to be. And that did not go unrecognized. And there's just something about that where I wanna acknowledge patting you on the back with this. Yeah. Um, and it does come through. Now, I'm sure in those cases it can sometimes be a group effort, but if it's like, we really like had to go through some you know, self-sacrifice to be there and show up and tend to his needs. There's very much an appreciation yeah. around that, that that was done for him. So wow. it just keeps hitting me over and over again. I feel like I need to highlight your mom as being the love of his life. Yes. And she if people have it. said that, there's an acknowledgement <laughs> of that, but it really very much feels connected. Now, when we talk about mom, um, this is gonna sound strange, but do you know of any situations of any brick houses Yes, okay. our house is completely brick. <laughs> okay, eerie. Um, this is going to sound strange, but if there's like three steps, mm -hmm. I don't want her to trip. Yes. Or have a fall. She's yeah. already done it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's spooky. She wants mom to be careful. Yeah, she's fallen. She's broken her heel. She Got it. She sprained her ankle. I'm so sorry. Oh, I, there's exactly. putting a bit of an emphasis on just being careful increasingly mm -hmm. in the way this comes through. Also, <laughs> having to kind of deal with letting go of some of our independence and that being a bit of a struggle. Yes. Uh, and that might be, of yes. course, this, nobody wants to go through that, but mom might have to kind of deal. Um, do you know of any situations where someone accidentally wore someone else's glasses? Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I just, somebody wearing someone else's glasses and I'm like, how can you see through these things? It's like- I wear his glasses now. You wear his glasses now. Fascinating, I love that. It's things like that when they pop in that it's just like so random, but so sweet and precious. Right. And it's a way of acknowledging that that's done. Um, yeah. And that's the kind of stuff that really for me substantiates. Able to timid. Three little steps. There are three steps. Yeah. Three steps, that's wild. <laughs> brick house, he's brick. He loved that brick. Got it, got it, got it. 
Oh, someone might end up planting something outside for him, and that's good to keep in mind. Um, if someone has any succulents or anything. My uh, dad he had nothing but succulents, and we recently re-landscaped it all and put all rocks. Oh, And we yes. do our best to keep up his yard. But he lived out there, so we yes. couldn't keep up with it, but we yes. kind of, re but he has a lot of succulents. Oh, oh I love that. trees, yeah. In the way this comes across, he is such a sweet, sweet man. Very, really, my very, dad the sweetest. Just absolutely, thoroughly precious. Like, it, it, I can't. I'm so glad that he came through because I feel like out of all the people here, it might be a little unusual for him of all people to step up. I didn't think he would because I thought yeah. he'd be a little, he, he was very quiet. Yes, exactly. Stern, but quiet. Yeah, but you know what, it's, the, it's really the power often of love just kind of yeah. was reflected. And when he comes in, he's appreciative of what was done Thank for him. You. If people were holding his hand or gave him a send off, he yeah. appreciates that, okay? And there's this acknowledgement of being completely okay. And he's gonna be there for mom when it comes time for her to make her transition, so. Can't wait. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> yeah, she can't wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, talking to the mic. Yeah. She just saying that every day, I just want to go with your dad. Their poor microphone went out, y'all. <laughs> but I can tell you this, when that time comes, it's gonna be a reuniting party. Please send my love to that sister who wasn't able to be here today. <laughs> and know that she's so, he is so appreciative of what was done thank for him. Thank you so much. Across the board, so. You're welcome, Thank you so much. Thank you. Woo! Ah! I love that. I love when details like that come through because they're so strange, right? But it's fascinating. It really speaks to the fact that consciousness is very complicated, more complicated than we fully realize. <laughs> I always say, if, you can, if premonitions exist, then the future communicates with the past sometimes. Think about that one for a minute. It is just wild. Consciousness, time, all of it is a mystery. And the one struggle I have with my work is anytime I try to get answers from them, any answer I've gotten just facilitates a million more questions. So I've learned to value things even if I don't understand them to still see the meaning in the connections without me being able to fully contextualize why they happen or how they happen. I am not even close to having all the answers, not even a tenth. <laughs> so I feel very humbled by every reading I do. Mm -hmm.